Hello and welcome. My name is Tarmo Ramel, and I'm here to provide you with an update to a prior video that I have on downloading Sentinel-2 data from the internet. Uh, previously, we were directed to this website up here, the Copernicus uh, Open Access Hub, but if we take a look at the notice at the top of this page, it tells us that this location is shutting down and migrating over to something called the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. And it's telling us that from July through to about September, things will be winding down and migrating over to this new location, which means that you're not going to be able to get data from here any longer. So what you need to do is head on over to the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem website, and I'll provide the link in the video for you so that becomes really easy to access. Uh, it should be posted up in the corner for you. Um, but it means you need to create a new website or a new login. And once you create a new login, right over here, I'm just going to click on that for you, it's going to allow you to access all of the data that you have been previously familiar downloading. Now, if you already have an account, it might show that it's already populated here depending on your browser settings or you can enter in your email address and your password and click on login down here. If you don't have an account already, you can create one really quickly over here, verify your email and you're off to the races. Now, I already have an account so I'm going to click on login and we're going to allow this new access portal to load for us. Now, there are lots of bells and whistles, lots of cool things that you can do in this ecosystem, but I'm really interested in showing you how to download data so that you can use it in your own software environment. To do that, head on over to the Explore Data menu item. When you put your mouse over top, it automatically expands for you, and we can come down here to the Copernicus browser. and Click on there. I'm just going to load the browser in a new tab the same way that it did before. It has a very similar look and feel, although it's a little bit easier to work with, quite honestly. Last time we downloaded data from Brazil. This time I'm going to take you over to Estonia. So you can use and click and drag with your left mouse button to reposition the map. And you can use a scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out as necessary. It's a really fast way of navigating on this site. So this island is the island of Hiuma, and it's the area for which I want to download some data today to show you how this works. Lots of things that we can do. We can change the background base map that helps us to navigate to various locations uh, in one way or another, something that you might be more familiar with or more comfortable with, but you can play around with those background layers. I'm going to leave it on the OSM OpenStreetMap uh, standard default. It seems to work really nicely. It's also possible to add on other layers for context, for example, water bodies. You could add on contour lines. You could add on roads. You can add on borders. Anything that you need to help navigate and contextualize the area for which you want to download data for. Because I want data for this entire island. I don't really care about borders, roads, contours, maybe labels, they're fine, but you can click those on or off. They help you with your navigation and your visualization. The next thing that we want to do is ensure that we have our configuration here set to default and we can choose which data product we want to download, Sentinel-1, 2, 3, 5P, digital elevation models. I'm going to leave it on Sentinel-2 and I'm going to download Sentinel to A data, so there's a little check mark next to that. Notice that up in the top of this block, we can choose the amount of cloud cover that we're going to be satisfied with, 30% in this case, and we can choose a date range for which we want to download our data. So let's click on this date calendar. Notice that the cloud cover is a slider, so I'm going to slide this down to, let's say, 15%, and we can click on the boxes of the calendar to choose specific dates for which we want to download data. I'm going to choose the 15th 
of August of 2023, and it's currently showing the true color layers as a composite on the screen for us to help us navigate. So we can see what the data set looks like. We could look at it in false color. We could look at NDVI, vegetation in the normalized difference vegetation index. We could look at um, the detection of urban centers. And all of these combinations available to us here to help us navigate and visualize the area that we want to download. I like working in false color infrared vegetation guy, but I'm going to leave it here as such. So this date looks good. The cloud cover uh, looks good. Notice that I could go in here and I could turn off the water bodies and we can see the actual water. Uh, and if I zoom out, just scroll out, we can see that there is some cloud out here in the Atlantic Ocean, but the island itself is quite clear. And depending on whether we have our water bodies turned on or not, it just masks them out nicely for, for visualization. But I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to zoom back down to Hiuma here, Oop, a little too far. And then I'm going to go to this polygon selection tool and we can freehand draw things, we can upload them, but it's really quite simple to draw a rectangular area for the area of interest. And I'm going to left click here and I'm going to kind of click over this way and down here and we now have a rectangular area that helps us keep our focus on the area that we want to download our data for. Once we've identified our area of interest, we can click on this chevron to open up the access and we can find the products for the current view. And it brings up two different images. Notice that the entire island isn't covered by either of these products, so we may want to select one or the other, but if this is the one that I'm interested in, we could always click visualize, bring that back into the viewer, or we could do that with this one. But once we're all happy with what we want to download, we can click on this download product button. And this is the one that is going to then start the process of preparing the archive for you to download. And this is going to creep across the entire screen and once it's done, you're going to have the entire archive available for you for download. You can then uncompress it and use the file as you normally would in any project that you've got. So enjoy exploring. I hope that you find this video useful, and we'll talk again soon.